Steve Carell says his wife, Nancy, is his protector. That's home and family for me. E.T. sat down with the actor ahead of the premiere of his new film, Welcome to Marwin, where he dished on his and his wife's special bond. What is it for you that brings you out of a dark place? What's your mechanism? My wife and kids, for sure. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah, that's my... When people talk about their happy places, that's home and family for me. It's the only way Mark's gonna heal. Oh my God, you're back, Hoagie. Bottoms up, girls. The idea of women is a really, yeah. really important component of the film, too, because the real Mark Hogan camp uh, is surrounded by women in his real life and, and truly trusts and uh, loves women more than um, anything. They're his protectors. They're the person who found him left for dead, the people who nurse him back to health, the people who continue to help him out. And when he's protected by these women, do you consider, is your, is your wife your protector? Definitely. <laughs> yeah. I, and I think that's one of the things that I connected with as well, is that mm -hmm. I remember when we were getting married and I was super nervous and we were getting married back in Massachusetts and it's 105 degrees out and the church didn't have air conditioning and I was sweating buckets and I was standing on the altar and I turned and I saw her coming down and I'll never forget it. I instantly stopped sweating and I was like that that person has my back like that I I I was just and I, I guess I never really made this connection before with wanting to do this movie too. Because when I saw her coming down, you know, the aisle to get married, I thought, I'm so much more powerful now that she is a part of my world. Mm -hmm. And I think that's exactly how Mark feels mm -hmm. with the women in his life. He, it makes him a more formidable human being because he's surrounded by these strong, powerful women. That's kind of violent. <laughs> but at least the Nazis are dead. It seems so perfect that you would do the movie with a woman who you've known for so long, with Leslie Mann. Yeah. I, did that feel like a perfect fit for you? She's so great. Yeah. She's such a great comedic actress, yeah. but I think a really exceptional dramatic one yeah. as well. I, well, I mean, we fell in love with you guys together on a 40-year-old virgin I in that. Know. A different scene, she's throwing up in a car. Right, <laughs> and on me. And on you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you have a daiquiri tonight? Yeah. Do you remember doing that scene with her? Is there anything that sticks out in your mind from that scene? This sticks out? <laughs> well, her her throwing up sure. like a pink yogurt yeah. on me. That I mean, that that's, you know, yeah. That's what sticks with you, yeah. That, that's literally. <laughs> what sticks with you. <laughs> the new Bachelor is a virgin. The Bachelor on the show, The Bachelor. Uh -huh. He is an actual virgin, and so they spoofed your 40-year-old virgin poster with him in the shirt. Perfect. Perfect, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't see it, but yeah, that seems to make sense. Yeah, do you, so you're not a big Bachelor watcher? I have not watched. Oh. I am not a, no. 